you are wearing your backpack wrong. Yes, you right there behind the screen, you are wearing your backpack wrong. And in this video, we're gonna talk to you about how to properly fit that backpack so that you can have more comfort on the trail. So Tyler here is gonna be our dummy. He never wears his backpack wrong, by the way, though. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna use him as an example here. But the first thing that I see the most common is with the hip belt. You can see where he's wearing his hip belt is almost right on his belt line. So if you were to wear a belt and a pair of jeans, that's where most people are wearing their hip belts. And in a framed backpacking pack, that is not going to actually take the load off of your shoulders. That's really the big purpose of a frame is to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> purpose of having that frame in there is to distribute the load and come off of your shoulders and distribute it down to your hips. So if you're wearing your hip belt this low, what it does is it creates a scenario where you cannot get a load off of this. This cannot be picked up off of your shoulders if this is sitting this low. That is improper fit of your pack. It's also improper use. So where do you want it? You want it on your hip bone. So if you feel right here on your side, you're going to feel your hip bone. That padding should be directly on top of and below that top of your hip bone. So dead center on your hip bone. So slide that back up for us. You'll also see that that's what, when you do that wrong, it makes everything else in this pack wrong. You would have seen a gap back here. You would have seen his shoulder straps are really high. He's definitely choking himself, so we'll fix that here in a second. But um, by getting that up higher, it allows us to work on the other facets. So are you dead center on your hip bone bones? Mm -hmm. Meaning the center of your padding here is on the center of those hip bones. Yep, and it's totally above my pant line. Okay, perfect. A lot of times for people, that's right on their belly button. So. If you were to think of like, here's the button on my, my pant, my belly button's right here. You can see how much higher that needs to be above my waistline. Okay, so once you have that, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is actually unbuckle your, your chest strap. And I'm gonna kinda push this forward just a little bit so there's no gap. Now tighten your shoulder straps so that they're nice and snug. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help alleviate any gaps here, but you also wanna be able to run your finger through that shoulder area and fill connection, no gaps, but not a ton of weight either. Once you've got that, see right now you've got, on that side you have a little bit of a gap. Oh, that's because this is tight. So you wanna loosen these load lifters all the way when you're doing this facet of it. So pretty good connection all the way around. The next thing he's gonna wanna do is snug these up. These up. So reach up and grab your load lifter straps. I got it right here for you. And snug those until they're just firm and you can start to fill it, picking up a little bit of weight off of your shoulder. Yep, so you don't want them overly tight. You don't want to crank these down until you're, you're uh, torquing that frame towards your back because the purpose isn't to pull the backpack into the back of your head. The purpose is to pull the weight off of this, transfer it up into the top of this frame, which then can redistribute it down to your hips. So that is a proper fit on a backpack. You are looking for an angle here. If it's flat, you're not getting a lift. You want it to be on an angle like this, and it's not, or it's not gonna work. Tyler is right on the cusp of this pack or he might need to look at a different torso size to get a proper fit or angle on that. Um, but if you don't have that angle, you're not getting to use the frame and have that comfort on the trail. This is applicable for all framed backpacks, but especially if you've got something like this Shadowlight backpack right here. This has a 24 inch frame in it, which allows you to really get that load lift off. Sometimes those shorter frames do not allow you to get this, uh, the angles you want with those load lifters, which is why we specifically designed the Shadowlight to offer that and to distribute that load for maximum comfort, even when your pack is on a li little bit heavier side on some of those longer water carries. If you wanna see more about the Shadowlight, you can find the link down in the description. So the last step that we're gonna talk about is this right here. I see this part done very first way too often, but that's your sternum strap. Go ahead and buckle that up. The purpose of a sternum strap is to not actually carry load. There shouldn't be much tension on a sternum strap. You're gonna tighten this up just so it's snug. And the whole purpose of that is so that these don't migrate out as you're moving. It's not actually to pull those straps in together. It's just to make sure that they don't move while you're being active. So not much tension there. And that is the last thing you're gonna do when you're setting up your pack. If you wanna learn more about why I use the frame pack, we will put a link right here on screen. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.